Hi guys, today I share a tag from Xcode. Then how to set up from combat base. Then from the Xcode, I want to show you several options to attack. Let's get started. Yeah, this is gonna be a good idea when the time I have no grips. Yeah, some people like to start with this type of position, but it's pretty difficult to set up the guard. So that's why if there are no grips in this position, you're much better in this position. Okay? Then you make grips on his collar and the pants on his right side. Okay, I make the cross grip and then I make the grip on the pants. I scoop my hips forward. Then I make the butterfly hook inside his right knee. Like this. Okay. Then when I do the movement, I hang on his neck with the collar grip. And then I shoot my leg to make this type of position. Okay. This. Okay, I have set a single leg, kind of like that. But today I want to show you X curve. And that's why I do one more process to set up the position. Okay, like I just set up single X. Then I switch to the X curve. Okay, the first I start move my head on this side. Then I get overhead like this. Okay. Then once I do so, I lift up his right leg again. One. And then I drop my legs. Then I make the X on far side. So this is a position. Okay. Then the first one, I should uh, take a kind of stand up. Sweet. It's really common. Okay. Then I already taken advantage, he's in combat pace, and then I have a card like this. That means I can easily control his portion. Okay? Then most of the time he wants to put his leg on this leg, then he's gonna break my X-Card. So in order for me to avoid this, I wanna keep his leg away from me. This X-Card, then I will use my card like this. Okay? I punch it here. This. Okay? Then in order for me to take a stand up, I need to send to the side completely. So from now, I bring his head down, then I use the X curve to set him to make this type of position like this, okay? okay once I set up, now I'm ready for stand up. I don't need to grab his car anymore. I raise it here, okay? Then I constantly push him away with my arm and legs like this, even though he tries to come back to me. Look, here. Now I switch to taking a stand up. Okay, when the time I do, I release the X hook. One comes behind me like this, and another one is on the floor like Taking a start up position, okay? Then all this is quite simple. I raise my hips up, then I pull my right leg all the way behind, like this, okay? Then I sweep him. Then when you set up, it's pretty simple. You just make grips like this. Then you wanna use this momentum to lift him up. Not with your arms, okay? So here, you scoop his forward, then keep his leg up with a butterfly. Then you set up the position like this, okay? Then I move my head forward to get under her. But when the time I get under her, I start lifting up his leg. Look. That means I even shift his body with the side step by step. Okay? Then, once I lift his leg, I switch my legs to the far side. Okay? Especially I want to reconcile right each other. Okay? So when the time I exhale, regular X, my right leg comes behind me. Then left leg comes in front of his thigh. Okay? This is a regular X. Right, some people like to play reverse X in the opposite way like this, but less control, okay? Generally speaking, you want to control behind his knee and in front of the hips like this, okay? This. Then, this hand, there are so many ways to do Some people like to hold on the shoulder or arm like this, but today I should way to do is using the elbow joint, then I grab around his knee joint like this, okay? This is how I keep his leg on my shoulder. If that is too loose, he may be able to do sprawl. Then, it was excellent. So here, like a straight arm lock. You use your arm in multiple ways like this. Then he cannot take a step back. He cannot even put his foot on the mat like this, okay? Now I get back to sweep again. So here in this position, it, it's too tight for me to stand up now. That's why I send to the side with the color glib. Then, look, this, this position. As soon as I stand up, I switch my leg, and then I sweep him. Okay, next one is kind of variation, okay? Whenever I have a chance, I want to do the last thing, the technical stand-up. Very simple and easy, okay? But what he wants is come back in front of me like this. Then in order for him to make more leverage, he may even make a color grip like this. Then he can pull himself. Yes, see? Once it happens, even though I have good grips, as like last one, I cannot stand up, okay? 
then it's going to be a matter of time to lose my position. But on the other hand, you can go to the opposite direction to sweep, the backward sweep. Yeah, as you can see, right, he grabs my car, that means his sleeve should be really close to me. So in this position, so from this position, I will grab his sleeve with my left hand. Okay, I get my left hand deeper, then I make the sleeve grip. If that is difficult to do, temporary I will switch my hand like this. Feel off the sleeve to go to the other sleeve like this, okay? Other side like this. Okay, and then I get back to the car. Okay, once I make this type of grip, as like car and sleeve, I'm ready for sleep. Okay, so in this position, first I bring his head down. Look, as I bring his head down, right? His weight is coming forward. And then from this position, as if I kick him over my right shoulder, I sweep him. Okay, I pull him down. They use the X hook like this. Okay, he's gonna fall on this side. Okay, from now, there should be a momentum, right? From now, I just wanna chase him. And then I take top position like this. Okay, this position, okay? I wanna stand up, but he does a good job. He tries to come to me like this, okay? Now, it's very important to control sleep, right? Without doing it, he's able to defend it, let's say like this, even though I can bring his head down. When the time I'm standing for, he's going to pose his head on the mat like this, okay? This is not a bad option to make him unbalanced to attempt other technique, but in this technique, you want to try back row. That's why you have to control his right hand, okay? So here, if it's close to my head, I just directly grab like this. If there is difficult to reach a sleeve, I use the other hand, look, I feel it off, and then, I switch to the other hand like this. He wants to make the grip. This is pretty good grip. It's not even easy for him to cut as well. Okay? Then I sweep. Like I said before, I have to bring his head down when I time I attempt to sweep. If he has a posture like this, I cannot kick him over. So the back row sweep means that you send your opponent over your head. Okay? This time his weight is around my legs. So it's impossible for me to sweep him without controlling his head. So that's why I make the car grip like this. Okay? If you have a room, you can even grab deeper and higher like this. Even more leverage to bring his head down. Okay? I slightly bring his head down like this. Then I want you to recognize the side, right? You're not gonna go to the other side. Like most of uh, regular back row sweep, you gotta roll to the other side, like this type of direction. See? But in this technique, you just use the near side shoulder. Let's say this time I use my right shoulder. Okay? I bring his head down. Then, as if I kick him over my right side, look. Then, as I have grips on his the collar, I'll be connected with him. Then I can automatically take it off. Okay, so in this position, I bring his head down, then I kick him over. Look, he falls like this. I still keep the X hand, right? All I want to do is follow him, like this. Then, I take it at top position. Okay, this is another attack from X guard. Okay, so in this position, I switch the sweep for the leg drag. Okay, leg drag is not only for the gallop pass. You can be used as a position. Okay, then instead of these last techniques, like I showed you, first I just lift up his heel like this. I use my shoulder. Okay, as soon as I do, I slide him behind his knee. Okay, like making underhand. Okay, I slide him in like this. So as soon as I do the movement, I put my head out. I even use my shoulder to push his heel forward. This, I make the decision. Then, as soon as I make this position, I grab his collar, belt on this side. Okay? Yes. I just grab a belt like this. Okay? Then once I set up, he can no longer get back to the other position. Okay? Even though he tries to get back face to face, I already broke him. Then, it's very important to keep the X hook in this position. He looks for a space to step my leg over. He maybe uses leg like this. So once I set up, I ready for a leg drop. Okay? So what I like to do is shift his body weight to the side. Okay? This time, most of his weight is on that side, like far away from me. So I do the reverse hip escape. I scoop underneath him, and then I bring him down. Okay? In this position, I slowly come up. I scoop my hips like this. Okay? By the time I scoop my hips, I start making momentum. I bring his hips down like this. I still keep the X hook like this, okay? When the time I take it off, first, I want to lift up his leg. This is very important, okay? I don't want to do the hip escape by stepping the floor. That's a heavy problem for me. First, I lift up his leg, okay? Then, it's a bit hard for him to do the hip escape, okay? And then, 
I'm gonna pull my left leg. By the time I pull out, I start driving my rib on southern side, like this, okay? And then, as if I bring my right knee on the mat to take top position like this. Like any up, like up position with knee like this. So like here, he's a bit away like this, I'm making an angle, but I cannot stand up. So in this case, situation, okay? His leg should be right. That's why I lift up, then slide in like this. Okay? As soon as I do, I make grips like this. I can even use both of my hands to make grips like this. On his belt, if there is no belt, you can grab the pants around here. And then I can control his like this. There's gonna be another reaction from my opponent, okay? He tries to come back in front of like chest to chest. But as you can see, I keep extra with strap his leg. He cannot come back. In this case, I use his momentum, okay? When the time it comes, look, I lift up his body. Then I bring him down. Now, usually I don't take top in one action. As you can see, first I wanna get this position first. Yeah, like I said before, I gotta lift it up, right? Otherwise, you can step the front escape. So I gotta avoid it here, right? This is how I his hips here. And then next, I'm going to release the head that is in front of his hips, not behind me, okay? This one. Then one more, I push it again like this. Especially as long as his kneecap is pointed that direction, he cannot tie his hips towards me, okay? What he likes to do is close his knee and then change the angle he wants to. So I make it opposite. So before I come up, I push. And then I will come up with the tiptoe like this. After like this, I'm not going to control his upper body as if I'm making hip to hip. Look, I drive my right shoulder on the mat like this. Then I get a lateral position.